welcome back to another video and today is the one two, six books I read in February <laughs> um also I got a haircut I cut off like an inch and a half and um I shortened my curtain bangs so they're more like side bangs now um but I read six books in February which isn't as much as I read last year last year I read 14 books in February so I'm a little behind, but I also think this year I'm reading thicker books. So I have like a bigger reading goal, but I'm reading thicker books that I like more. So I don't really know how that's going to even out much. But let's go through the six books in order that I read them. Number one, also I didn't match my TBR that I planned out in that 20 minute um, organizing video. I did not do that TBR. Like, I slightly followed it, but not really. Um, first book I read is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. I've been wanting to read this for a long time because I love Leigh Bardugo. And I have a vlog on this. If you want to watch that, I say a lot more in detail about this book. Um, I love this book. I am obsessed with the characters, and I bought the special edition um, without even reading it first. I'm glad I did. Um, I rated this four stars on Goodreads, but in reality, it's like a 4.75. You just can't put that on Goodreads. Um, but I tabbed quite a bit in this book. And I am completely in love with these characters. I love Alex. I love Darlington. I love Dawes, or Oculus. Um, I love Turner and Trip. Like, I, I love these characters so much. I also love Cosmo. I have a lot of theories on this book that I'm not going to get into. Um, but if you don't know, this book is basically about, um, Yale University and Alex, um, can see ghosts, like she can see the dead or are also known as greys in this book. And in Yale, they have these cults, um, um, she's the one in Leith House and Darlington is like a senior, she's a freshman in college, he's a senior in college, and he's like her mentor kind of, um, and she he's like helping her out through this and he goes missing in this book and that's her figuring out what leith house is and blah, blah blah that's the introduction um i'll get back to the story in a second with my other reads but the next thing i read was um the do-over by lynn painter this is for the book club she also wrote better than the movies which i read last month um i don't mind her romances they're very cutesy they're very like cheesy and sweet but I don't think I'm going to be buying any more from this author just because um, it's, like, too cheesy. Like, there's not enough act. Well, there's action, but, like, not the type. Considering I just read this book, this just wasn't it for me. If I want a very cheesy Hallmark-like romance, I'll probably pick up another one of her books. But for now, I'm going to stop buying Lynn Painter's books just because, like, it's too cheesy for me like it's cheesy in a good way but also like if you don't like cheese then like you know what I mean but basically um this book revolves around Valentine's Day um and this girl I already forgot her name what is it Liz Wes and Liz Wes and Liz Wes and Liz oh I got the names completely wrong her name's Emily <laughs> I'm thinking of better than the movie Emily and, um, Josh, Emily and Josh, um, end up together in this book, um, obviously in the synopsis, but, um, basically this book revolves around Valentine's Day and she wakes up and Valentine's Day is like the worst day of her life and it just keeps on repeating, kind of like Groundhog's Day type thing where like the day just keeps going, like starting over and repeating again type thing and she falls in love through that and i thought it was sweet but again too cheesy for my taste next i read a sad romance book the fault in our stars by john green also for my reading club um i did watch the movie afterwards and i love the movie oh by the way this was i think i rated it four stars on goodreads three stars four stars i'll put my um the fault on our stars Oh, and the ninth house was four stars too. The Fault on Our Stars by John Green. I rated this four stars. It's a very sad book. Very, very sad. I cried in the movie and the book. It's it's very sad. Basically, um, this girl 
who has, I think, like, lung cancer or something to do with her breathing. Cancer. Um, and she falls in love with this boy. And basically, she's saying that everyone's going to die anyway. So what's, like, if you're aware that you're dying, why be sad about it? And it's this whole thing. And her favorite author, she goes to Amsterdam um, to see her favorite author. So then he can explain, like, the ending of the actual book and everything. Um, it's, it's a very sad book. I don't really know how to say it other than that without putting spoilers in. Um, but the, I love this book. The movie was great. I highly recommend if you like John Green books or if you just want like a sad, sappy romance. It's very cute. And I feel like this is something you would read in like high school. Something. Um, next I decided to read something easy poetry book i love poetry if you know me um this is called pillow thoughts i read um milk and honey last year and i rated it five stars and this was another five stars i think every poetry book i've ever read is a five stars because i love poetry and poems are really never bad when they end up like in a book this is thicker than milk and honey definitely but this is basically just a ton of sad poems Pillow thoughts, literally. But I love this book. This is five stars. I can't really explain it other than the fact it's just poems. Um, but I do highly recommend if you like poetry. Next, this is my favorite movie. Dead Poet Society by Robin Williams. It's a very short, quick read. It's under 200 pages. It's 166 pages. This is under 200 pages. It's very, very sad. I cried. Again, I cry a lot over books um i cried in through this one and through the movie itself but this is like my favorite movie ever like this is my prized possession it's basically about this group of college boys who are like um reinventing this old school club called the dead poet society um where they basically like come together and like write poems this, this movie was so good. I highly, highly recommend This is a five stars just because, like, I grew up with this movie. I grew up with this movie, and I grew up with this book, and I'm really glad I got to read it. Um, again, highly recommend. This is a good month for reading, mostly. I highly recommend. Definitely look through it. And next, I'm recording this a day early. Um, for context, um, next week, I don't know if I'm going to be posting. I may post two shorts. I'm not going to be posting full videos probably um, because I'm working on two very big, probably most entertaining videos that I will ever have on this channel for the time being um, that need to be recorded all of next week and I won't be able to like, really release anything. So this is like my first time breaking schedule. Um, probably, maybe, I may, I may, may post a few shorts, but I'm not sure. So don't get your hopes up. But because I'm recording this a day early, I haven't got the chance to finish it, but I'm going to be finishing it tonight. And that is Hellbent by Le Bardugo, which is the second to Ninth House. And in this book, they're trying to find Darlington. And, and I'm not even done yet, and I tabbed a lot in this book. There was a lot to tab in this book. This, this book brings you... This book brings you to a completely different world, basically. Like, I don't know how else to explain that. It just brings you to, like, a completely different, like, mindset, place. I don't know. Like, when you read this book, your mind goes to a new place. Sounds cheesy, but, like, when you're reading and you can see that movie in your head, like, you can see the movie in your head with this book. I love this book. Like, this, I, I'm not finished, so I'm gonna give, like, a guess rating. Um... I'm gonna rate this five stars probably. This book is gonna be five stars. That's what I'm saying right now because right now that is what I would rate it and I haven't read... I have 110 pages left. So it's probably taking me like an hour and a half. Um, but so far I think this is gonna be five stars. I love this book. I'm very in love with these characters and I now have attachment issues with these characters and I really really don't want to stop reading this book it's one of those books where you're like really excited to read it but you're like sad because you know it's ending while you're reading it anyways those are the six books I read 
in February and I'm hoping to read a lot more in March due to the videos that I'm going to be releasing in March because I have a lot planned for March. There's a lot planned for March. So um, I will see you guys next time and I love you guys so much. Bye.